just one of one of my great friends that did. Someone I could always go to and talk to. Always, man. Damn, that sucks. He's a really good friend. Rest in peace, my friend. Better than we are here in this fucked up world. I'll tell you that. It's so sad. I found that out while ago. I was like, fuck, man. I wish I didn't even I wish I didn't see the post. That was heartbreaking. That's a really good friend, man. You're one of the lucky ones, girl. That's all I can tell you. You're one of the lucky ones. You're gonna stay here with this drama and bullshit of the world we got. Come here, fucking shells. Fucking bitch, what do you got? really don't got much to say or you with nobody when I hear about one of our fam friends or family members like that because it's going to hurt us all. You know, not just one of them. One of us knew her. We all knew her. And that just breaks my heart that my friend, her sister, just told me that she was doing really good, man. She's doing really good. And she got out and got in that fucking one time she tried that fentanyl all shit, killed her dead. They found her dead in her fucking bedroom, man. That shit's fucked up, man. Really fucked up. That's like a friend that I could always rely on, you know what I mean? I mean, thick and thin, sick in health. from it because <laughs> that's what angels do they feel my sister and me expect to be gone like that, not from that kind of drug, and not to give in that fucking shit, man, but I can't, you know, sit here and say it enough, that's so sad, rest in peace, my friend, man, if you know, family hears me, you know how I felt about, about, about that person, we dated when we was in high school. She was a really, really, really great person, man. You know, never, ever had no words between me and her. Uh, and I, I entered that feed while ago just to learn how she was dead. <laughs> and I was gonna ask her if she wanted to go riding and talk or something, you know what I mean? Just to get shit off my head. That's what I figured out, you know what I mean? This girl had passed away two days ago. That's breaking my fucking heart. I don't care. It's just a really good friend, man. Now I'm gonna sit here, like 500 cigarettes after another, and hope I fucking croak and say hello to heaven. Chris Cornell style. I've come to the point, guys, of no fucking return. You know, when it happens to you like that, it's shockingly, it's unexpected. It's something you would never expect to happen. And that's what happened. That stupid ass fentanyl you know, shit and fucking mess, whatever the fuck they're doing around here, man. I'm about this close to starting a police academy. I swear to God, I am. Shut this motherfucker down good. Who better would be a fucking cop in this hollow? That's sad, man. I can't believe she's dead. I'm that close to sign up for the police academy. We missed something. Me and Junior just talked about that. 
to lose a friend like that. She didn't know nothing about that drug, man. These people, I blame it on the boy. Other people don't, but I do. I blame it on the boy. He knew about that shit. He gave it to her. Motherfucker, I'm going to talk to you like the FB motherfucking eye. I don't have step one of your fucking punks down here. She's one of my good friends. She lives below me. Her story is to never ask. Gasping for fucking air. <laughs> you ever heard of narcan, motherfuckers? Oh, it's making me so mad, guys. I'm trying to, you know, not think about that right there, but that's all I can think about. That was a great, great friend of mine. And I guarantee she won't even have a funeral, but throw her in a box. And throw her in the fucking ground or cremate her. I'm not mad. I'm broken hearted right now. I was mad a little bit ago because people talking about me fucking sleeping with my own mother. And you know who said that? State police stood right here, listened to the whole video, and filed her paperwork. I gotta be done there Monday morning to deal with it. I'm not gonna let something like that just continue to go on, Harley. Josh got his uh, charges for trespassing. You don't understand that's still my property, you fucking little kid. <laughs> I want a little bit more than what you thought I did, then. That's what kids you get, though, man. Kids just want to get their self in trouble. You know? I don't feel like fucking with these little kids. Like Junior said, Dad, just let me pop his head off. You know, I don't say you got charged, son. Just shut up. I'm racking up and putting in handcuffs and sending the big boy jail where your uncle is and just point a finger and put a can of fucking see you see this right here? Remember whose head that went across? I do. <laughs> I do well. I do very well. Y'all mad because this fucking twelve years old and you with y'all fucking tw nineteen twenty. I would be giving my cousin props if he can do that. You know what I mean? Could any of y'all bench press fucking 600 pounds? Well, he could. So I think probably if he got a hold of you, he'd destroy you. I'm sorry about that. I found some papers. But yeah, that's sad, man. Yeah, that's fucked up, Harley. That's uh, it's three people, four people I've lost super close to me since November the 4th when my stepdad passed. I'm getting ready to take off in the truck, take this and set it on my lap and just contemplate life. Just set it right there like I just did and put my music on and just stare. You think? <laughs> it's not fair. Not at all. No. It's heartbreaking, man. I, I still can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. I really don't want to believe that she's gone. I'd rather be gone than deal with all this. You know what I mean, guys? I really would. You know what I mean? Y'all can say my cousin wins or whatever. It's not about my cousin winning, about me winning. It's not about none of that, guys. We're losing a lot of fucking people, man. And that breaks my heart more than anything. We're on here arguing on a goddamn YouTube and Facebook like some dumbasses. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like I told you that one day, Harley, that's probably what I'll do. Not no time soon, though, because things have to be set in motion. I feel like just getting in my truck and driving far, far away. I might do that too. I might drive a couple states away, stay at my buddy's house and just not, cause this motherfucker ain't on no kind of bond, no kind of restriction, a goddamn registered motherfucking Glock G9 fifth generation, Sig Sauer, motherfucking Trey 5-7 Colt, 
whatever fucking on her, baby. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. I'm just getting fucking pissed. The only safety on this motherfucker is the trigger. I'm sick of life, you know. I'm sick of burying my friends, you know. Have you ever dug a grave? Raise your hand if you dug a grave. Solves a lot for me. That means everything goes away at once. Boy looked at me the other day and said, How the fuck did you just load that other? It's called knowing how to do it, buddy. They get so mad because I can I can have that. You know, have y'all I noticed that on the last video. Oh, we, hey, partner with us go. I would leave this in the house. I would walk three miles down the road and meet you with these right here. You know what I mean? Burn no fucking eyes out with my dabber. There ain't no such thing as a fair fight, man. You know what I mean? I remember this one boy. Y'all know the guillotine is against all rules. You don't choke nobody from behind. You know what I'm saying? This one dude squared up, and I think it popped, and I popped him. When I popped him, it cut him right here. He's like, I, I, I don't want to fight no more. I was like, we just getting started. This was in Illinois. He started choking me, big buddy. This is a bigger boy, you know what I mean? Choking me from behind, and I can feel with his beer bottle, and I grabbed it and went, wham, upside his fucking head. Because I had a beer bottle in my pocket, I was going to open it and drink it. I always put one in my pocket, hold one. And then I had one in this pocket. When that motherfucker went down on me, it cut my leg, like this far. But every piece of glass, I shoved it in his goddamn face. And just pressed it hard as I could. That boy laid there for 45 minutes before he could move. I said, stomping the back of his head. You just what you get when you fuck with a redneck. You didn't learn a goddamn lesson on the fucking court. Fucking hate. <laughs> I guess they didn't. Hey, Derek, someone's out here stealing dad's truck. What? Don't move. Tell me they're still there. I can react that movie perfectly. Boom, boom, boom. I thought you motherfuckers weren't you. Sitting on the fucking court. Put your fucking, you fuck with the wrong bull. Or you put your fucking teeth on the curb. Say goodnight. Wham. Just give it, I love the look of this. The whole concept that is. They didn't learn their lesson. They thought they could beat up on the white boys. Well, the white boys had to show them another lesson until they was actually killed them. You see what I mean? And fucking, who would actually want to have to ever do someone like that? Nobody. I know I wouldn't, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying. I wouldn't ever put somebody, you know what I mean? Now, if somebody put me in that position, I wouldn't make him bite the fucking curb. I'd just put a bullet in the back of her head and make it easy. You know? But if I wanted to present a point, like he did, that was his dad's truck. That he was shot by fire. Why well, he's a firefighter. Saving, you know, African Americans at the time. That's why he had it. Well, you, uh. I want to say. But yeah, my history lesson would be a totally different ball game about shit like that. I'd be like, get your golf club, go out there and play good as Tiger Woods. Get your guitar, go out there and play like Hendrix. Get out there and get a microphone and rap like Eminem. Then we can compare everybody, right? It's like paying oranges to apples and pears over there. What the fuck you think he means by that? <laughs> Ain't nobody compared to me, man. You better let it left alone, man. It's like fucking comparing oranges to peaches to apples to pears. Nobody's on my level. Tupac, I own his shit. Uh, he'll, never, he'll never cease to be alive to beat me. And that's what Eminem knew. Hendrix knew it real quick, too, when he did that. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, Joe, 
Obviously, where you're going with that. You can gun in your old one. Huh? This motherfucker here said it years ago. Legalize it, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm looking for that stupid little paper. I have a, three books in there. Bring one with me and lose it. Fuck it. Too stressed out to smoke right now, a joint. I feel like taking my weed and just smacking it, pump across the table because. I just do. You should see the truck seats. Oh man, they're fucking sweet rebel flags. <laughs> man, they are nice. They're nice. Put a four inch lift on it. Coming around with a riveted rocker panels. That's what my son done. Once done to it, I worked on it a little bit today for him. Got that 327 and shit down. Boom, boom, that truck is mean, boy. That was left, uh, my son, the title came back today. Where that fucking stupid paper go? Fuck, with my bolt. Give me this whore. Now, here's my paper. See, bottom one, I can't see off of it. Maroon 5, I'll take this clock, and I'll pop, pop, shot, shot. Right on you, man. Cause you ain't nothing like a bitch seeing you once you scrum. How'd you ever get to be here in the Super Bowl? Your ass is on your shit. <laughs> California across it, you know what I mean? I could have, I could have, I could have went W V U F C U K. <laughs> no, my motherfucker, he could barely spell California a long way. I hate this. Do you wanna take a picture? Dark always carries a good buck. That knife right there when I skinned him the last year. Three old timers and a fucking Uncle Henry went off. This bitch still razor sharp with guts in it. Look. You don't see that hair and gut and that shit, you blind. See at the bottom right here? Blood. I don't know why the fuck they went out there sawing on it again with my knife. All that hair up in the bottom of that shit. Duck. No. <laughs> you can't even tell it's got it in there, bro. I, I, I cleaned it so well. That's just how I am with my knife, you know. Take my wet rocks. Here, let's, ladies, let's do this. Okay, you see this knife? I'm, I'm holding my hands, right? Okay, how many of you ladies sharpen your knife? Yourselves. But you just run it through a thing like this. You just run through one little thing like that, right? Once you get you one of these, it's called a wet rock. So I took that up, spit on it, cut into it. But this has got grooves in it, remember that. Cut into the stone. This motherfucker was circumcising that. You can't be frayed. Now you see the metal popping up on it? That means it's sharpening. Dad, Dad, teach you. Don't worry, ladies. We'll keep you alive. I've sharpened it five times. This ain't, look at that, boys. Any man knows that it's sharpened to the T. No scratches on the upper blade. And I don't believe in Now I'll take leather over it. Get off my belt. Circumcising that boy. If you got a question, ask me. Feel free to ask me. I'm just in my own zone. We lost a good friend, man. Some other ones in the ICU. Soldiers, man. Where's my butt case? Oh. 
אנחנו נאמין את הגלים. Make a wish, everybody. It's 11-11. I wish for one person. I bet you I can take this cigarette and break it from here and make it completely touch without it breaking into. Anybody want to take that on? Ten bucks right now. Any takers? I'm going to take this cigarette and I'm going to bend it completely in two. And I'm gonna make it touch, and it's not gonna break, and I'm still gonna smoke it. Any takers? I've won shit tons of money at, off this little trick at the bar. Let me know when we got some takers. I've won 150 bucks off three dudes one night. Dude's like, how the fuck are you doing that, dude? Okay. You don't want to bet this boy. What is happening? What the fuck is happening right there, guys? Holy shit. Whoa. Now I can bend it back and smoke it perfectly. I love that trick. Everybody's like, how do you do that, dog? Moisture. And then, look. But moisture, it is a good magic trick to get one to win money off in the bar. Now, would you know that Lyle, the science from that, will make that break? That'll give that moisture. See you know what I'm saying? You pull hard, it'll break it like that. Now let me show you a trick. What you, that's what you do. Here's what I do. Moisture in that cigarette now, buddy. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. Bitch. No broke nowhere. <laughs> Give me my money. There, Alcos. Like I said, I'll smoke the whole cigarette. Moisture. Cause it's condensation. Condensation will make that tobacco being makes it moist. Didn't my cousin tell y'all the brilliant way to win, uh, tell your kids to win a great, great, uh, like, science project? Take a video game, hook it up to your heart. They won uh, runner-up for state with this. Donald did. This was a good, uh, really genius idea he did. He, can, he showed how the blood pressure and the heart rate would go up during certain parts of the games and shit. Because they try to say that it's healthy for you, you know what I mean? But science, anything I look at, like how he showed that demonstration that day, my cousin, of that doing that, that's showing that's put a lot of pressure on a child's heart. What the fuck? I'm gonna read, read all that dab on it. Uh, I ain't gonna hit no dab, Rig. I'm gonna paint that fucking bitch black and smoke it. That was a cool magic trick, wasn't it, buddy? I'll sit there and break your whole pack of cigarettes trying to. <laughs> well, God, I never went hungry when I was locked up or nothing. I know some shit. Survival of the fittest. This is 91%. I'm about to get fucked up. 
I'll take a ride up to the city or something. Yeah, I might do that. I might do a, a YouTube video from the city I was born to the towns we moved into, and then etc. That'd be pretty cool. Still burning. How about, you ever seen a man not let a girl die a virgin with her finger, with his finger, just in the mirror? Mirror. Don't let nobody die a virgin. Oh, there's another one. That's a smart ass trick since you're a smart ass. See, I can give what you give. I can dish it right back out, but I don't like to because usually Five minutes later, I got you in a fucking quad, quad, quad. I'm dragging you out the fucking door so I don't get barbed. <laughs> Check the resume. My buddy beat this dude left-handed in a harm wrestling to do sucker punches. He, wrong mistake. Won't you walk up these steps a minute? Come out that bar. He rolled back into the bar. That's a fact. I knocked that motherfucker from the top step back into the fucking door. Plowed up against it like that. You like to sucker punch motherfuckers? Come sucker punch me. His sucker punching a sheep, a boy don't fight back. But he beat him in arm wrestling. He proved that. He was stronger than him. But that boy was like, oh, you can't whip me. I was like, motherfucker, I can't. Bring your head. He's the one in the wall and one of the movie with Charles Green. I knocked that motherfucker clung to that ball. Woody said, Darky, what are you doing out there? I said, I'm having my smoke break, bitch. Rob's got the DJ. Not DJ, I used to DJ the bar when it happened. This is about to be a tonical fucking chronicle, man. That was a badass magic trick. Hey. Anybody gets a 52 deck of cards, most of their tricks are nothing but math. I can take that motherfucking go like that and make all four coins pop up on it every time. Like, like it's a clockwork or something. And I guarantee I can flash a card, deck of card in anybody's eyes on the speed right now. Go like that with it, and I can tell you what cards you looked at. You'll deny it all you want to, but I guarantee it's the one you looked at. I'll get it deck out here in a minute and do it. What's this shit? I learned this. I, I actually learned that from Chris Angel. That trick. But he tapes his shit. I don't tape mine. It's all in sleight of hand. You know how he gives his little tips away? Well, he's fucking taping a card that sticks up so your, your, your eyes always go that car. No, it's all in sleight of hand, man. What the fuck's wrong with him? Just like somebody, you know what I mean? Sit three cups down. I can sit here and mix them up. Never move the middle one one time, but you think it moved 20 times. <laughs> I always get fucked up on that, you know what I mean? I don't know Chris Angel, bro. I just said I watched it on a video. I didn't say he sat here and taught me that person. I, I met David Blaine, personally, yeah. Got his autograph, I got his coin. He fucking took this coin, told me to write my name on it. Then fucking hold it in my hand, and he put his hand on top of mine, that fucking quarter, being all the way together. That's some David Blaine fucking mind freak, goddamn Copperfield, David Copperfield shit right there. And then he got out. You're good, bro. You're good. That was it. Was cool as hell how he did this though. He looked at everybody in this little local pawn shop this day. He said, "I want every one of y'all to pick a number." He said, "I want you to pick a number from the year you was born, the day, or the month." Okay. I picked fucking eight. You know what I mean? Eighty-six. The year, just 86, 1986, just 86 what I picked, my mom picked 10, the fucking lottery code, would, I'd be rich if I could do some shit like that, the motherfucking lottery codes was exactly what he said they'd be, I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude, no way, 
Why aren't you rich? And some of us could do some shit like that. The government would get on their ass in like two seconds, like, yeah, yeah, y'all pulling some slide of hand shit over here. That's all it is. Like when they pull the finger. Slide of hand. You're good, bud. I was gonna turn into some moonshine tonight. Found out about my friend passing away. Really sweet, down to earth girl, man, went hurt. Nobody was always there. You needed someone to talk to and stuff, you know what I mean? I went to see if she wanted to talk and blaze some dab and shit and her sister had to tell me dirty she passed away two days ago what the fuck did you just see I still can't really comprehend that because the girl didn't live a week after she got out of prison man and they got her on that goddamn fentanyl straight from Lakin to the graveyard Sad, man. I'm gonna be very sad if they can't raise the money to have a funeral for that girl because that's what they'll do to you down here, guys. They'll throw you in a fucking welfare box and throw you in a fucking ditch. They'll actually burn you. They won't even take the, enough audacity to fucking do it right. They'll burn your ass and say, here, to the family, in a baggie, not a yarn, a baggie. I've got one of my family members in a baggie. That's how I knew. That's fucking so, like, low of disrespect. You know, and if I ever ran, like, a funeral parlor or like, something like that, I would give it to my damnedest to try to help them have a fucking viewing for their family, man. That's your last goodbyes, man. Fuck what anybody says. How about the guy, you know, they said did for fucking how many days? There in the autopsy room, he had the same outer box. When I died, overdosed that time, I passed away. He gives the same speech that I give. Best thing I can tell you is fucking ghost Patrick Swayze. It's like I was moving my hands through these motherfuckers, telling them to help me. I was like, fucking help me. And I seen the guy look at his watch, and he's going to pronounce me dead at fucking 11, 18 a.m. Exact words he says. All of a sudden, <gasps> I get breath, but... He stuck a fucking adrenaline straight in my heart. Something, Pulp Fiction style thing. Say something, something. That shit right there. I had piss running down my legs, you name it. I was gone, boys. But I could see, like, I could hear the ambulance and I could feel the pain. But like when my soul came up, you know what I mean? I guess when I was dying there, you know what I mean? I could see everybody. And believe me or not, not when they opened the back of the ambulance, that's when my mom was begging them to save me. I didn't see that. I saw white, like it was trying to get me to go there. See what I mean? But there's something there telling me not to. You know what I mean? It was just holding me. It wouldn't let me move nothing. It just let me see everything of how, you know what I mean? It should have been seen. That was a fucking awakening call of my lifetime. I had over 8,000 pages of paperwork with that when I had that, when it happened. When I woke up, they sedated me back out. When I woke up, I woke up to a priest and my lips were so thick I couldn't breathe. There was, you know, like, I couldn't say nothing or nothing. He just looked at me and said, Won't you stay with us a little while, son? Why are you in such a hurry? Exactly. And that stuck with me my, a long time as a Catholic priest. I said that to me, man. I'm Baptist, you know. But to me, you know what I mean? He, played, he gave his only good forgotten son. I'll rock when I'll ride, but, you know. I hang out with people just like you. If you got soul, like Leonard Skinner says, we hang out with people just like you. Now, I'll probably get this joint, get real stoned, and go write a song for her. I hate the fucking food fighters. Fucking shit, it's goddamn bad. Goddamn through my fucking wet rock through the TV. I hate that fucking shit. 
You're not a goddamn Alice in Chains. Song, my son's favorite song is Iris. I love some Goo Goo Dolls. But that other band sucks ass. Who called this? What'd she say? Uh, that wasn't her, that was him. I just want his ass kick. Hear what she says when she says, Baby, I want you to come and mount me. <laughs> I got all my grunts and shit out. I've been cleaning them. I keep this one always on the young doe right there. But then let's go to a, a, a bleat. Watch these women, Sean. They're going to be like, What the fuck was that? That sounds like y'all when y'all aggravating us in the middle of the night and we're trying to sleep. Baby, I just want some dirty jerky. Just give it to me for just an hour. Just, oh, hell no. I'm in the fucking bed. <laughs> My hour got clocked out five hours ago, baby. <laughs> you done got the wrong motherfucker for that one. I get my brown one. I don't like setting this one on estrogen. Hold on. Always hold your chest, gentlemen. It's about breaking in a string. It's not on right. You fuck that up one time, that buck's gone. See how it's sideways? I recommend you use Primos. Like the can. Hold on. That's pissing me off. Buddy, if you don't camera up there. The wooden cream is what I swear by. These ones are okay, but this is old school. This belonged to my stepdaddy. It'd take hell and high water to touch this thing right here. A lot of people say, Dirk, why do they grunt like that when they're walking? They're telling the young buck to get the fuck up out of there. He's about to mail it, made up with some. Some coochie cat up in there, buddy. You know what I mean? He's like, get up. You know, I'm telling you now, you know what I mean? My buddy was filming one coming in in the snow. He was like, Dirk, why is it doing that? It's grunting like every three steps. It smells you. It smells everything. It don't give a fuck. It's telling you it's bigger. So just take that 308 or whatever you got and lay that motherfucker down. Ain't that right, Joey? Now let's give him the real estrogen bleed, huh, Joey? Exactly how that dough fucking bleed right there, didn't it? I'll smack that rattle one time. Did you get you one this year, Joe? Say, it, Bubby. I took Pops' truck up today and cleaned it and got all the grass off of where I went, correct? The grass all the time where we just did the rotors. Uh, you know, we put, in, uh, we put new rotors on that truck, new brakes on that truck, uh, New fucking bearings. Even we dropped his gas tank for him. You should have seen. Did you get you got a small eight point up the holler. Was it up the holler, or was it in Vance's holler? I seen one in both places. Why, actually, I ain't done hunting yet. 
Junior will be down soon. You know that. You know what I mean? I went out and got that one in the truck, but I was freezing my fucking ass hand off. You know what I mean? I went up right there at Conley Bay, that second pull off, went up in there and parked and got out and walked. I figured, so what'd you do, take the gate in the old gas line way up or what? My, I, I still gotta get my clip from idiot, bro. Uh, you get time after this uh, live feed, Joe, you message me, man. You know what I mean? I need to ho uh, holler at you about something, by the way. I want, I want to show you Junior's new Glock, too. I don't know, but did I show you that? Ducks and Lima Glock? They only make 30 of them a year for uh, the membership and for part of Ducks Unlimited. He loves the, like, any, he wants a fucking Beretta. Vance, what I just say, you fucker. That's the one I just, that's the one, I swear. Listen here, coming through here the other day, I was looking dead at him. I had that cross rod. But I said, oh, it's a dough, man. I'm I said, shut your mouth, dude. You know how he is. Oh, my God. The nearly all took off. I said, man. I run a little spot, like I said, <laughs> and my fucker. And you know, right there, where Cook's going up, how fucking steep it is right there. That deer slid all the way back down to the main road of Vance, the gravel part, into a stagnated mud hole. Don't even get me started. That son of a bitch was huge for a spot. No kill one that big in my life. I keep saying that. That's a spike. When I feel my the biggest doe this year was when I killed my doe. When I feel my doe stamp, that was two weeks in the bow season. Dude, it took me. Oh my god! You should have seen me. I look like fucking crow hoppers, red devils trying to get that motherfucker out. I had shit tied to shit and everything. Scotty got that fucking deer on top of me, I. And if you know me, I'm sure you do the same thing. I popped my butt and I, I said, open that juggler right up. He said, man, what'd you do that? I said, I don't want to taste an all gamey motherfucker. That's why it's dead. You know, it makes sense. You no know, shit. If they sit there and die for hours on hours, it won't taste wild as fuck. You know that, brother. But anyway, long story short, I said, help me get this fucking deer in the back of this motherfucking truck. Here he falls with it on top of him. And remind me what I just did. It looked like it. It is in a massacre. A woman cop killed a lady and a man or some shit. He says on Pineapple Express. He said, man, that was something like a murder. It sounds like a fucking massacre. Get the fucking oh, fruit roll-ups. Fucking pineapple. Run, motherfucker. Dude, that shit cracks me up. That's Scotty to the teeth. That motherfucker fell with that deer on him like that. And then his head smacks over the part that's saturated. <laughs> so I just grab it by stinking ass ears of that stagnated Vance's holler. And you know what I'm talking about with their mud holes. There's no mud hole in Boone County. It smells like a Vance holler stagnated fucking bottom coal mine mud hole. They smell worse when you damn hit the gut bag nine times. You can actually, you know what I mean, my cousin here. They nasty. I was going to ask, uh, your mama still got her fox body, bub? Somebody's arguing the other day. I said, she will not sell that car. That's her pride and joy, man. That's Joey's car. I was like, daddy, that's left to him. He's like me. He's a fox body freak. You still got your fox body, right, Bubby? And what is that? Is that the 87 or the 90? It's in between right there, because mine's the 88. I, I think yours is the 89, like that white one I had. I knew you had it. Oh, I get dogged every day about my fox body, buddy. You know what them cars will do. You know what I mean? 25th anniversary. That's what I thought it was. When you gonna sell it to me? Finally.
No, nah, you know I could never. That's your mama's, Bubby. I just remember that car with them tags on it. You know what tags? Oh, you asshole, you didn't tell me. You sold the 80. I would have traded you F-250, the same one you got out there. You know I got that off my brother, right? And I would have bought that. I would have gave you that to boot. I got the Universal 8 lug rims, Dana 60, fucking 351, brand new uh, transmission clutch, you name it, bud. The motherfucker's a tank, bro. 220-some gallon, 22, I think, gallon tanks, duels. All sun pro out shit. It's nice, man. I'd like to get rid of that, man. I wish you, I wish I knew you could. Mm. The 89 and the 90 is the 25th anniversary. You do know that, right? Both of them are. Because where they made the car 64 and a half, just like the Pinto. You see what I'm saying? Remember, we got smashed in the ass and they caught on fire, so they discontinued and made the 65 actually the first one. So that's why you get the 89. I had an 89 and a 90. It was a 25th anniversary. It says, you should, I'll trade you for that one. On the glove box, right above the glove box, should have the horse. 25th anniversary, right by the glove box with the two lines. That's how mine was. I had one bitch. What's her scene? Rolling with it. And I like the bad. I got a thing for the bad ones. Like anybody could have sung it 23 years. Yeah, I'll bring it up, bro. Uh, Billy told me that. I didn't even know you had a truck like that. You know, I got two sets of tires with universal eight lugs. Somebody trying to trade me a fucking broke down dirt bike. But the bike's worth a shit ton if I put a top in on it. The KTM 300 SXS 2014. But. I say you got it for something. You'd rather catch my eye. Got that roll, roll on him. Got a, something she says. You know, I don't know what the fuck. She's, I'm stoned as hell. Got it. Ran a roll on him. About 102. It's 45 on it. Who wants a 45? It's going to jump everywhere. I don't know one gentleman around here on the 45, really. Unless it's a 1911 Colt or something was uh, left it down to him. Jamie probably does. Just to have for his collection. That's the only reason. Do you pack your 45, Jamie? Joey? I packed the 357. That was Pops or the Glock or the Sig. Sometimes all three. And a 30 6 on the back and one on the front. <laughs> Dude, that's why I told you to message me after this fucking thing. There's been, we've seen, have you heard about the Hunter seeing that shit down? You don't pack your Beretta M92? Then you don't, I know you packed your Beretta Model 92 then, Jamie. I know you do. You packed that gun for fucking years, bro, and you don't pack that with, oh, it's Hawaii laws maybe or something. You see what I'm saying? I showed you the Ducks Unlimited, the DU Glock 9. I showed it to Joey. They only make 30 of them. That's what it was, 30, yeah. But this year's was the Glock 44. That don't mean it's a 44 pistol, people. That means it's a fifth generation, 44, you know what I mean, cylinder. You understand? And it's probably, it, it will tell you on the side, it'll say nine by X19. And you got what's called a Pereira. And a different, I told you, you, man, I still want one bad and can't find one no one. I had to buy the subcompact Beretta APX, but it's still the same thing you carry, but it's too, it's not like my SIG or my Glock, you know. But I think I could outshoot you with the 357. Windicator, made by Colt. Here, I'll show you the box, not one for the gun. That's a decent song. That's more my son's little boy. My little boy loves that dude at Morgan Waller or whatever. I'll show you this one in the gym. I don't have 
I ain't gonna show that the box. You know that, you know what I mean? I like that one wasted on you. That's it. That sounds like a rat kit there. Now they done fucked it. I'm trying to get the one. This one I got for Poppy Dojo. You know what I mean? Looks just like that right there. Blue steel. Bronze. Beautiful hammer on it. 357 Magnum. 38 Special. And one. And I, I absolutely love the pistol. I mean, I, she 50 yards, Jamie. And we would have hit this all day, bro. We would have hit our flat targets all day. You know what I mean? It teaches the rhythm about. First shot I hit was there, second, right beside of it. Then I was, well, it was getting a little bit heavy, I guess, one night. That's a 38 and a 357 and one. It's got the double, it's the cylinder holds both. You know what I'm talking about? The SPL. It shoots the RNLs and shit. Exactly at 100 yards. Thank you. I was going to say we're shooting, nobody bleeds when we're shooting at 80 and 100 up there. And it's sitting there going, ting, ting, ting. That's exactly what Paul was shooting. He's shooting an old mine inside, dude. And he's shooting it from like 125 yards all the way across the hillside to hillside right there where uh, Palmer Bay is. Ping. Every time I said, you know it, buddy. I said, I'm listening to the team right there. No, that's when I, no. Uh, that's two days for you past there, buddy. You know what I mean? That's the only time you ever got the shot. I got tears in my eyes trying to say this. But he reached it to me and went with the revolver open. He said, that's yours now, boy. No, I didn't concept what he was saying to me, man. I didn't really want to. I said, I bought, I bought that for you, buddy. You know what I mean? He just knew. Yeah, I heard the thing every time with them lead tips. 157 grain, baby, you know me. That was out of 38 rounds. Uh, right here. I love these rounds. I'm sure Joey got some of the... Uh, I ain't mum one. What? What'd you say you... Oh, my God, I hate disrespectful people like her right there. That's why people like you wouldn't live in Boone County. You get tap danced on real quick. Disrespecting somebody that's having a moment with his brother and his other cousin. That was that man's world. He gave his fucking favorite 22 to Joey, his nephew. He talked about you a lot, Joey, buddy. Right here, these shells right here will never fucking... Right there is what was fine. I won't shoot this whole box of shells. I'll keep the rest of them. It says 32. I got them for 20. But yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, she's about to be a very big fucking weak link. It's going to be like somebody tore the whole fucking muffler off her car. Bitch, I don't mumble. I'm pretty sure they have heard every word I have said. Maybe you mumble because you're a Yankee. You city slicking bitch, right? That's mumbling to me. The fuck was that? That's what that is, bud. Salt lead, 38. Knocked down, 157 grand. See how stupid they are, Joey? Really? That's what I was telling you about that, bro. That's why I don't like talking about even trying to, you know what I mean, bring something up that reminisces him like that, you know what I mean? Oh, you should have heard what little man's got on there and said. You'd jerk his fucking head off. You'd kill him dead, Joey. So would you, Jamie. I'm supposed to, we supposed to have uh, done that to Pops so me and my mother can have a relationship sexually together, Joey. What kind of fucking horse shit is that, dude? You think that 
Oh my God. That right there just cost him jail time. I called the state police on it and everything. They came right here. They took every word I said, recorded everything. I meet him nine o'clock Monday morning. Guess what, Jamie? He will pay for that one. That's some sick, nasty shit, ain't it, buddy? He's trying to benefit off Pops' death, everything, dude. I shut that motherfucker down, bro. I said, dude, the man did not stand you, man. He, he tolerates you because my mother. That's the only reason. He tolerated a lot of you motherfuckers because of her. I'm a castle. Joey, I'll tell you, I don't have that fucking attitude of that running and getting knocked out of bounds and making the fucking... See what I'm saying? Remember that newspaper reel when he's running that kickback, Joey? He got knocked out of bounce by Eugene Gray and made the paper. <laughs> what the fuck you get? Who makes the, do you ever make the paper, Jamie, for getting knocked out of bounce? I remember hoisting trophies up for Larry Brown and a couple others. I did them Bradley. <laughs> See what I'm saying? When I got sent off to Pendleton County, it was old boy playing my position to drop the fucking ball in left field. I would have called it like that. Smoked the motherfucker with it. It was old fucking what's his name, J.D. Kinder. I bought a truck after him, off, off of him years later. It was like darky, man. It was like, God, they still give me hell about that. I bet they do, bro. I could have caught that ball fucking better and, and threw the guy out from third. We would have won two to one, not three to two. Give you some sugar. What the fuck? I don't want, no, no. Down there already telling stories that caught him another charge with that stupid motherfucking disease shit, Jamie. Right there's how you get it, right there off them motherfucking. See that thing right there? Probably sleep with dogs. You know what they get? Fleas, ticks, and everything under the fucking sun. You know, sugar, I ain't got no sugar to give you, bitch. Like my daddy used to say, it's a sweet. Well, this side be sweet. It's be sour for you, not fucking welcome. Like I always used to say, you ain't getting nothing sweet here. <laughs> right or wrong, Jamie? Did you, did you ever hear him say that? Fucking with you as a kid. You ain't getting shit, sweet boy. Buck up. That's how my daddy was. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm so sexy. A woman that sat here and gets fucking, you know what I mean? Told like it is. It's so sexy. You're disrespectful is all I'm telling you. You could have a little bit of respect. Yeah, I, I, you know what I mean? That's one thing that sticks out with me, dad. You know what I mean? That's one thing I look at, too, bro. They're all together, you know what I mean? Tina, Dad, all of them, Penny. You see what I'm saying? This motherfucker's getting on there making fun of me. Dude, do you hear me making fun of my other side of my dead family? Who can do that shit? I can't watch when you said you were... Four, yeah, 14, really? My son's 18, sweetheart. That would be so disgusting. It would be unreal. If a 19-year-old girl hits on me, that's disgusting to me. I've changed her fucking diapers at that age on this kid. Ooh. That's because he would do that. Bitch, I got you something to fuck her up. Trust me. It'll fuck you, you goddamn, they are goddamn police issued, and they are bad motherfuckers. You can't say shit with one of them F-fucking HPs between your eyes, can you, Jamie? Uh, nope, not yet. He's mad because I'm up on him. I just got that today. You like that, bub? You know, look, if I, if I, if I hit the golf course, I'm usually wearing an Oakley T. Depends the weather. Long sleeve or night and an Oakley hat or a fucking, of course, uh, Callaway. My fucking Callaway glove costs 80 bucks, bro. Yeah, me too. Oakley's my shit. 
show you her muscle. Bitch, I ain't got nothing to show you. The woman that gets the crown on this blowny pony, derpy jerky and blowny pony, you get to see my muscle. You see that muscle right there, bitch? That's hard as a rock. Tell you damn Eskimos, come and get some of it. Not scared, one bit. See it all the way around? That tickled. That felt like your pussy lips was touching it right there. Trust me, Boone County, we stick together. We would not allow them little motherfuckers to come down here and think they're something. Yeah, somebody put her on a fucking leash, Lionel. Leash law. I can't listen to shit. I'm gonna shoot the fucking TV right now. You mad about it? Do you know that my cousin used to try to be the hottest little motherfucker around here and he's still trying to do it at 50? Do you see me wearing my shirt? It's gonna stay on, okay? Because all I gotta do is hold my back out like that. It's more chiseling his whole body. I don't sit here and plant heroin in me all day long that just killed my brand, okay? Once you consume that. Once you take three steps back and literally fuck your own face, bitch. That's what you can do. Sounds like you're fucking goddamn horny enough to do it. Once you go have fun with Adam and Eve, you know the toys? Your, your vibrator dreads seeing you. As soon as it knows she's getting into bed to take her clothes off. I mean, the vibrator fucking commits suicide. It goes, <laughs> best as it can so it'll run out so it don't have to run in her. <laughs> yes, I did. This bitch will break a dick in two to suck it twice when she's in. That is very unattractive, by the way. That's nasty. There we go. It's about Jess goes in this song. Rainy James. Loser. Beck. What the fuck you doing, motherfucker? Let me fuck that. Did it go off? It's just coming on, bitch. No way. So far. So far, girl. Hey. Baggers can't be choosers and motherfucking succeeders can't be motherfucking leaders. A stain on my shirt it says legal lies a bitch. Are you in your dreams? Or won't you smoke some of this? Get on your knees. Get on your knees and pray. Say, hey, Jesus. He's, I'm about to have some company. <laughs> I'm wanting to go out on the hill right now, Jamie. I got some moonshine and shit, you know what I mean? You triggered right. <laughs> the cigarette trick is science. You know what I mean? I've always known that. For years. I got one in cocaine, you know, not a piercing, but a no show. I should have picked it. You don't, you play, don't you, Jamie? Yeah. I thought so. So, uh, I want your opinion on, yeah, anytime you do it, see, I showed old boy exactly what he'd do with one, see it, remember I said you break yours, and I went, watch, the oxygen that you're pouring in will moisturize it, you know I mean, I am not your baby, and if you want to smoke it, won't you learn how to fucking roll it?
That's what I'm saying. Just goes in the video. He talks about him in the song too, bro. Just goes when you lose a baby. So why don't you kill me? Yeah. Dude, I got some nasty dad. This thing is so hard to run like a lighter. Fuck you. Dude, that's my well and poor trucks. Hey, I got an idea. Look at that Janice girl. Which one that was talking shit? You ever heard what Japanese do to their females? We won't sew it shut, don't worry. We'll blister that motherfucker shut. <laughs> that is so hard to do. So why don't you kill me? There you go, oh uh, God. Say it's only four inches, though, from the ground around. You used to be his what? Mod. You look far from the fucking model I'd ever give props to. You're far from Shakira, Scarlett Johansson. What kind of model are you? A OnlyFans model? That's the only kind of model I could ever see you being as an OnlyFans. That's the only fans you got is on OnlyFans. You know, like bitches, Jamie's trying to get me fucked up on their only thing just so they get that view. Uh-uh, bitch, you wish. Motherfucker. I was already on a porn of. That's right. She already knew what I was going to say. Shakira is the most ultimate bitch. A mo oh, you're the moderator for my uncle's. For Alita, you mean? Because my uncle had nothing involved, and you know it was, I do. Did he sit there and speak like I did? No, she speaks for him. And he gets pissed, and they cut the pee because he goes the fuck off. There we go. Man, I'm sitting here checking out this new set I got in today. Tell me we got a motherfucking uh, Christian McCaffrey people up in this motherfucker. Or, uh, what's his name? She's a wannabe mean person. She don't know how to be mean. She ain't offended me yet. Something called a side eye, first of all. I'm trying to show my brother his card. That's actually my brother, you dumb bitch, in case you didn't know that. I'm only calling you bitches because I don't know your names individually. You're a Coles fan, probably, ain't you? I bet you, Jamie. What are you, a fucking Coles fan? I seen that the white creamy. I was like, I bet you always like that. Don't tell me you like the fucking Ravens. We got the Browns and the Bears tomorrow. Everybody's favorite football team in here. There's eight people, but there's only one motherfucker repping for the Cleveland Browns. About to be nine and five. And then talking about getting Derrick Henry or uh, Jonathan Taylor. Sorry about that, guys. I gotta get the job behind this. So. Living, living, I hate that Baker Mayfield motherfucker. Uh, bitch, I guarantee one card I'm holding in my hand costs more than your fucking car you're driving. You want to bet anything on your fucking life right now? You want to Google it, do anything you want to? Google a dark, dark blast host right now. That's a Pokemon, first of all. You're looking at $47,000. Know your fucking shit. I hate people who are illiterate and dumb as fuck like you. You know how much original 1995 Charizard goes for? Won't you pop up to 170 grand? Something you've never seen in your fucking life because 
your kids were probably dumber than fuck and didn't even know how to do it. Well, no, if you're my age, you see how I went straight directly at the children? Because these kids are taught fucking, if we went to war, they would die in three seconds, Jamie. They'd be like this. They just give us, we just know where to shoot. Fuck yeah, you ain't that farm. I can play shit out of a smooth criminal. Yeah, too bad the Browns are second place, huh, bitch? Too bad them Browns are the baddest number one defense in the NFL in every aspect of the game. Miles Garrett leads sacks. Zadarius Smith, number two. The most interceptions. The most... Won't you hush? And Nick Chubb is not even playing. And we're fucking playing the Bears tomorrow. Won't you put your money where your mouth is, bitch? The Bears are gonna get fucking dumped by the Browns. That's a fact. I guarantee Grant Del Pitt probably gets an interception tomorrow. He has been playing with lights out. Denzel Ward's back. It's over. It's over. Greg Newsom had a beautiful interception on fucking what's his name last game. I got the Browns to the Super Bowl. You know who we're playing in the Super Bowl? The San Francisco 49ers. We already played them once. Beat them by a field goal, barely. But this time, they'll have Kristen McCaffrey and Debo Samuel out there. So Joe Flacco better be fucking well prepared. San Francisco, that's my mama's team. That's my Aunt Sue Bob. That's like half my other family. A lot of my friends. Uh, a couple great friends that's passed away even. Uh, my buddy Jesse's favorite team. Nah, you're taking my words and twisting them. Get it right. My brother put his to it. You're weak as piss, girl. I bet your pussy stinks so bad. You ain't been laid in fucking goddamn eight months. Guarantee it. You know how you give them the finger test? You finger that bitch. And you just wrap your hand around her head. See, Donald wouldn't know this. That's why he's with that thing he's with. It looks like fucking swamp thing. If it grow off a piece and bite it and eat it, it might look better. Fucking smell a finger, smell your own finger. You'd be like, ooh, what's that smell? That's your own fucking pussy, bitch. Kick rocks. That's how easy that is, wasn't it? How many other males has done you like that? I'd kick you from out my fucking bed. Get out of here, you whore. You smell like a goddamn fucking gutter slut. You ever heard of a douche bottle, motherfucker? Oh, you ain't supposed to do that no more. Google it. Every time after fucking minister, your menstrual strice cycle there, and motherfucking a man usually was inside of you? Yeah. You got damn right, that's the test. I always remember it, brother. Douche that thing, bitch. Don't you tell him. Ain't nobody want to smell your nasty ass pussy. We smell you when you come in the room, you car cunt smelling motherfucker. If I wanted to roast my cousin, I would talk about my cousin. I said what I had to say to him. Ain't nobody worried about his fucking old lady. She smells like a goddamn dead fucking Paula Tunis being in the bed fucking goddamn had a Northern California crash, not in a shrimp boat or tuna boat. It's just been crashed here and it's been rotten for like six years. That's what that bitch smell like. Don't even get me fucking started out roasting motherfuckers. Y'all are dumb as fuck. You have no sense of humor. You cannot do comedy. And that's one thing I will put you in fucking checkmate at. Play me at chess, any one of you two. I challenge any one of y'all to do that too. Watch out, Bill. Who you challenged me at chess? Yeah, because it's a game of intelligence. Something you don't fucking have. This shit's chess, not checkers, motherfucker. I know what I'm going to say to you three words before I say it, bitch. You suck more dick than a hooker on Clark. Oh, 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 you, you know 
where Clark is? Clark Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, the king of prostitutes. <laughs> you are an OnlyFans, bitch. Yeah. Garen fucking Ted. That's the nastiest hoes in the world. I hate a bitch to do that shit. That's so nasty. You're a cyber prostitute and a real prostitute. How worse can it get? Put that bitch in prison. Prison. That is breaking the law. There's little kids around the world clicking that shit, man. You nasty bitch. I lived on West 52nd, Clark. How you know about Clark? You got car, couch, cooch, then field. I bet you're like, how the fuck does he know that? Store, Denison, first you got Lorraine. That's where my Browns play, on 4th Street, downtown. I lived in Cleveland almost half my life. Cleveland. You're from, how the fuck you from Cleveland? For real? You know my nieces are out there, right? The blue house on the end of 64th, the roofing company used to be my, that's my family that we used to own and shit. Yeah, my family's got a love for 216. I'm getting ready to be back out there. That's crazy. <clears throat> I thought about, you know what I mean? Nah, I only want to say it on here. But anyway. That's why my buddy, I got so much respect for my friends out there. So, you know what I mean? Them motherfuckers go to war with me. That's what I like. But I'm registered and half them motherfuckers not, so. Oh, yeah, I got a big one in there. Let me tell you. This bitch has done one mil illiterate, one mo illiterate motherfucking comment like that from you. You have become the weakest link, and you're about to say goodbye, bitch. You're hanging on by a motherfucking thread. I'm talking about on the tiniest little thread you can get like that. And that little ass ball. I did not tag you in no... I, it's not me working out, sweetheart. I don't tell nobody in the world how I work out. Fucking mountains built me who I am. I don't need to work out. I'm gonna read script. Fucking script reads me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that ta fucking thing right there. Right before me and Junior install the white cabinets. I'm gonna break it across my cousin's fucking head where it's over with. Watch. Then I'll send you the fucking splinters to it, people. Nobody fucking shook, worried, nothing about him. He can go in there and make some disgusting shit. You fuck your mama, bro. Your daddy wasn't your daddy. Like Mamie sat here and said, maybe he's the one might want to get a DNA. I know my fucking sister's sitting right here, but I know his mom's the biggest whore in Boone County. To the day, to the day right now. Fucks 15-year-old, 12-year-old fucking kids, basically. I ain't got no reason to fucking lie, do I? No, I just stay in little. I can't find it. I'm not responsible for whatever every fucking white member gets out here and does. I'm only responsible for what I do because I came from the fucking gutter. I'm still here. Tupac, bitch. And it's the fucking truth. That's facts, man. They didn't leave, they left, they ran away. Yeah, he can't have, he'll start cussing, like, you know what I mean? He'll get into some sick, nasty shit, man. And, uh, you know what I mean? The reason me and him feud right now is over an argument over a coat. Over my Cleveland host. If it was my Cleveland Browns, hallelujah, I'm over you, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Dorothy fucking style. Well, guess what? We don't give a fuck, bitch. Nobody in here loves you. That you support trash. Do you support people that supports fucking hurting kids? Making fun of mental retarded people? Making fun of... Do you really? You support Joe Biden too, don't you, bitch? 
and abortion. I'd love to meet one of you Yankee motherfuckers. See, my cousin don't understand. He ain't no fucking Yankee, and he needs to realize that fast. No, he didn't steal my coat. My whole family will sit here and tell you how the whole my coat is still in Charleston, West Virginia. That's the fucking funniest part about this shit, people. That's awful funny, huh? Yeah, he sure fucking did. After eleven year old kid just had to hung himself. Remember that? Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Janice, take an IQ test against me. You, Donald, anybody. Do you even know what your average IQ should be? Don't ask fucking Alexa, bitch. Because I know on the top of my head instantly, mine's a one fucking 60, bitch. When you can compete with me, let me please. I would love to fucking, oh my God. Tell me who, who's the first known person to ever walk this planet? Listen, I'm gonna question this bitch. How many stomachs does a cow have? Let's do little questions first. They got four. The first person to ever walk this planet was motherfucking Akhenaten. The Bible stood first. You fucking stand me? Your first queen was named Cleopatra, bitch. My leave. No real fucking shit. You are dumb as he is. He just can't believe what he is. Because he's not fully it. That's the problem. Now, don't call me sexy and sit there and do it. You know what? Like he said, like Brandon said too. Wait till I see that motherfucker. Just wait. And we promise you it'll be filmed. There's no doubt in our fucking mind that's why. You think I'm gonna film Brandon while he where is he down there, Brandon hold this. My turn. Watch. That's how we play. That's gonna be so funny, ain't it? A washed up motherfucker. I think she's getting my off all shoes. From what I heard from Mamie, he said he'd fucking die on his deathbed, wishing. Yeah, I heard about that too. And what was my video? The controversial, a very touchy subject on the Confederate flag. It was a religious flag. I never said it once and said I was racist, did I? I just sat there and said I lived in Cleveland for 13 years. But I know motherfuckers of both color that wear that word. You call it for what it's right. Because that's what intelligence is called. What you're called is fucking a prostitute. More than likely. The only fans you got bitches on OnlyFans. And I'm done talking to you now. You say another word and you're the weakest one. You're on my nerves now. I, I just lost a friend today. And she would knock you out with one punch. She would have knocked you out for me like three hours ago. She would have been like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Wham. That'd been over with. Thank you, 42-year-old man. I'm 35, motherfucker. I'm not fucking 10. And you're a goddamn... You understand? 15? You get the roll, people? Not no more. I don't see nobody jumping at us either, do you? You damn right, Mamie said. You know who owns the rights? My Aunt Mamie and my mama. That go, it falls down into the sisters, people. My oldest, Mamie's not the oldest sister. She's not the oldest sibling. She's the third oldest. Little man don't even know how to tell his stories right, man. My Aunt Zeta, the, the uncle I'm named after, which is Johnny Wayne. The one told me that little man and then was sneaking my fucking baby's mama in a U-Haul to fucking Minnesota. 
abandoned me and my son here. What kind of people do that, buddy? Family does that. Family does that. I got one person I trust up there. He tells me everything I need to know. Every time, that's all I need to know. I know, bitch. I see more pussy than, excuse me, Talia does. Okay? I ain't got to worry about you. I see more pussy than y'all see on y'all self. I would not tolerate one of you bitches. Not fucking 500 beautiful women walk in here. I'd ask them to leave. This ain't the time and the fucking place. Okay? See, you're infatuated with stupid shit like that. In your own little gay. Talking about gay, first of all. That word right there can get you knocked off of YouTube for three months. Watch how you use that word. I'll be nice this time. Because whoever the fuck reported me last time was definitely going to get it. And I wasn't surprised it wouldn't be you. You might want to delete that dumbass comment. You pissed me off and that's right what I'm going to write back for. Three months, bitch. I know what I would See, that's funny. I know every law about this, right? You know what? This one dude tried to tell me what deplication a character meant. That means is when you slander someone's name and make it fucking hate it by other people. Look at the dictionary. I about died when he tried to say it was something else. Look whose chat you're in. That's right, Sabrina. You know that. You know it's both in person. So what do you think about that, Janice? Nothing you say is relevant now. There's a person that fucking knows us both very well our whole lives. They shut the ball game down for you, didn't she? She knows Dirk knows way more about these laws and this is West Virginia. This ain't goddamn Minnesota. Here, you want to try out my pillow? Here, try my pillow. It's only you buy one, you get one free with my pillow. Fuck your pillow, motherfucker, and fuck your couch. Thank you, Lionel. Who gives a fuck about your motherfucking pillows, you Minnesota Eskimo motherfuckers? You are basically draft dodgers. How close is that, J Jamie? Am I not lying there, brother? Am I not lying, Jamie? He fit in war. That's my brother right there. Jamie Griffiths is my actual brother, people. He fit in war. You are draft dodgers, bitch. You're on the Canadian fucking line. What do you mean? I'll be 540 for you, sir. You see where the fuck we stand, don't you? We're just the fucking home of the fucking slaves only when y'all need us brave. Remember that, bitch. Understand? See, Donald ain't got motherfucking quotes like I do because he has to write them down and forget them on that hair when he nods out and shit on. You understand? He couldn't come up with one. If he fucking was dying trying. I got this hat. It says Asante, Minnesota on it. I'm going to spray it apart with the AK-47 tomorrow, Jamie. I'm going to send it to you. That's the town he's from. <laughs> My cousin gave it to me. He said, blow that motherfucker to pieces. I said, you got it. That fucking that's where he's from. I'm going to say, bah, 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 bah. Dude, I'm going to fucking eat it alive. And I'm going to have 10 other fucking weapons from each rent side sitting that motherfucker. That shirt's gonna look like fucking grandma's spaghetti strainer from fucking 1600s B.C. Yeah, he likes transmissions. You know what that means? He likes to switch gears. I like how you said that. How you've heard me say that. I don't change up. I don't switch gears. Right? Where, but 
My picture when I was five behind me. What the fuck you talking about? There's no pictures behind me, bro. Oh, that's my son right there. Yeah, looks like me, don't it? Right here's me. You want to trip the fuck out? I'll let you trip the fuck out. My dad looks identical to my fucking child. Like a fucking, I don't know, man. Like some kind of weird fuck. Here's dad. Right there. Who stares at people like that, people? Ooh, ain't that spooky, Donald? Motherfucker. This is my boy. Wearing the best fucking in the world. I'm gonna show you me at the same age. And I'm with you, motherfucker. Hold on, I'm looking for it. I like Junior right here. That's his Peyton Hillis jersey. That's when he spelled his name for the first time. See him put dad. He's, he sent that to me. He put Derek to dad, but he forgot to put dad where he was little. You know what I mean? He's so cute. That's the shit you remember with you. My baby's 18 years old right now. And you best believe I'd hurt you faster now than I would then. Over that shit. I saw this picture I just had in my hand earlier. That's weird. Creeping me the fuck out, Jamie. The poltergeist is back, man. I think we moving all kinds of weird shit in this house. Yeah. But I got the same picture over here, so. So I don't have to figure it out. But that's Junior right there, man. But yeah, right here. There's the same. Look at Junior. Look at my dad. They're fucking uncanny, man. And then look at me. That's me, people. Then look at my baby. Then look at me. Suck my asshole, motherfuckers. That blood run really deep right there. No, bitch. This is me talking to my family about my fucking son. You got a fucking problem with that. My cousin right there will beat your fucking ass in three seconds over that shit. That's why they're just sitting here watching your dumb ass. I got a brother in here and a cousin, you illiterate motherfucker. That's why my shoes cost more than your rent, huh, bitch? What's that stand for? Nobody say nothing. Let's see if genius knows. A and W. How'd that name come about? He looks like Dad so much it's unreal in certain pictures, dude. That means Alex and Wright. That's two companies. A and W. Too slow, bitch. You're done. Like I thought. Yep. I'd ever die, dare you to try challenge me in uh, any kind of fucking equivalent test. I would make that bitch look. This would be. I, I would look like motherfucking straight SpaceX, and she would look like motherfucking Duval. She, look, she would look like Duval. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Duval. She would look like Duval. Bitch, I went to university. I don't give a fuck what these people want to pump in people's head. I know where I went. I played ball on Mountaineer Field, and they hate it. Pitcher standing right on it. Uniformed the fuck up, lifting weights in their light weights room. It was fucking obviously, you know what I mean? The best times of my life. But if I wouldn't have got away from here, I wouldn't have done that. My son's doing the same thing. Nothing wrong with my hair, buddy. My hair's so thick it needs cut right now. I'm wearing a hat on it because it's too thick. I'm going to see my barber tomorrow the next day. I was just bitching about that. Not a damn thing. What'd I tell you? The plus is better, bud. I bought the plus. I can show you the picture. When, I walk, when you walked up to him, you walked up to the plus first, didn't you? Tell me if you didn't. I didn't go with the fucking program, but I can flop it right in. You know what I mean? I can switch right up. You see what I'm saying? I didn't pay mine off, but 
Mine's paid for two of them. I got, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, don't tell me. That dude's fucking half retard. You see him wash my hair. We don't fucking flip at the wave. <laughs> you need to wash your whole fucking body, you nasty ass motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you look at the 15 plus, Jamie, it's bigger. You're paying per screen, right? And all you're paying is for one operating system on 17 chip, and that's exactly what the 17 OS gives you for the next 10 years, bro. If I was you, I'd switch those bitches. That's why I looked at it, and you know me, in electronics. I just kept looking at that Plus, and I just kept looking at that Pro Max. I was like, titanium, one camera. If you take a picture, honestly, I'll show you the comparison between the two cameras. The Plus, the way they have them diagonal like that. The third camera blurs it worth so much a little bit, and they overheat. And it's heavy. There you go. See what I'm saying? Look at this one. I swear. Dude, I fell in love with the 15, uh, 15 plus. You can get your same gigs and stuff. You see what I'm saying? There's no fucking difference, bro. You get a bigger screen. My brother knows everything I'm saying. Me and him got our phones at the same time, motherfucker. That's all they are, Bilbo. A bunch of fucking whores, Bubby. They get on here talking about fucking this little Janice bitch and shit uh, on Crackhead side. He's on here talking about me and mom sleeping together. Uh, 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 this some of my fucking stepdad to sleep together and shit. Dude, that's how sick that bastard is. Mamie and everybody pulled up in here. Yeah, I got the 15 plus too. I... I'll show you the picture when I walked in. I didn't get it from fucking T-Mobile, like I told you. I went the fuck off on him, man. I did. <laughs> you just fucked up, you stupid bitch. Get her, Bilbo. Get her, Bilbo. You don't remember Bilbo, do you, Jamie? Key from Emble. Key from right there at Van. I doubt you remember Jamie. That's my uh, oldest sister's brother. Uh, when my dad was with his mom and stuff. But anyway, check it out. He's in the military and shit too, uh, Bilbo. That's, you know what I mean? Like I tell everybody, a lot of people don't understand. I claim him as a brother almost. You know what I mean? Just as much as Billy. And ja Jamie knows that too. Dude, he lives in Hawaii. I was worried to fucking death when that fucking, what do you call it, hit? The motherfucking Russians bombed us. I'm telling you, Jamie, that's a Russian bomb, man. Nobody's listening to me. How the fuck is it gonna burn down a whole town? Yes, it's the only shit I can swear by. I bought five fucking things of it. Uh, a whole fucking town, man. Maui looks like a black planet, like a black plague or something. It looks awful. You know what I mean? How the fuck, set it on fire. And how many times has Russia threatened us with fucking wind bombs? Setting shit on fire. And nobody has looked at that. They have threatened us with that before. You know that, bro. You know that, bro. You know what I mean? They threatened, they threatened us with that bullshit. When you was in fucking carrying your Glock top top ready to fucking tick tock on them. You remember that shit? Them Taliban motherfuckers. My ass is gonna be up there Chris calling. I'm gonna Chris call. Motherfucker just gonna drop in front of us next to me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Telling you, that's definitely some kind of weapon. You're right. I've never seen something like that in my life, dude. Not that fast. You know what I'm saying, bro? I've seen nature, and we got a thing called heart, too. I'm sure you're well aware of that. What can you see? Why you? I wanna know. Have you ever seen heart control the fucking lever? If we didn't get the fucking lock from Vietnam, nobody did. So we flooded the fucking place. Heroin, people. Heroin. 101 heroin. Fuck off, I'm calling, man. As 
all about heroin, poppy fields. My brother will tell you. My other brother will tell you. He'll educate you a little bit. What you didn't know, they're a uh, Yankee Doodle, Scroogle. You, you represent something. See, I represent the part of the flag that he actually stood for, not the part where they allowed you to cut your dick off and call yourself a woman, not the part vice versa, or they allow a woman to take a clothes hanger and rip a fucking infant out of its body and drink its goddamn blood. I don't approve of none of that shit. But when this man fit, you know what I mean? He signed up to fucking defend his country against a foreign place. I don't see him turning his weapons domestically. People better to fucking remember that. That is a soldier right there, and he'll answer that question for you. He ain't gonna turn that fucking weapon domestically. I'm telling you. The way they would try to do it is take rival places like West Virginia to Georgia for the sports and things like that, too. That'd be their key. Like Kent State happy. I see it happening, Jamie, I swear I do, bro. You know what I mean? Shit like that, you know what I mean? But I don't think the soldiers will be able to shoot the people down like that. No way. It caused one hellacious battle because every one of us has got a fucking AR just as well as equipped with. We got more at home. That's exactly what that was. A correct. There you go. Get here. Damn. That girl got some fucking hairs right there, boy. She knew exactly what I was using. Is it correct? Black silk. Boulders. Sneakers, cream room. I'll tell you. There's a pack of hot chocolate in it before it, in the coffee before. It's called Southwestern's Best Room Coffee. It's the best fucking shit you'll ever drink. You'll never drink it any other way. Everybody I put drink it like it does it like that. Yeah, bitch. That's me slurping on this bitch's pussy later tonight and it won't be your stinking ass. Ah, you just continue to walk into roast. If this was the roast of fucking goddamn Janice, she's so old she'd start melting. It's been so long. She's out of the freezer, ladies and gentlemen. She's like a, she calls herself chocolate cream pie as a fucking goddamn stage name. She's already melting. She's on now, you know what I mean? Her fucking superstar, her world-class figure she looks up to is Sherry Moon Zombie. Now, not then. I'm talking about then with the inbred of shit and now in real life. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You don't want to step at me too much. You might want to stay in your motherfucking lane. Fog, no. My son keeps trying to talk me into onto a fucking a channel where it's all comedy, where I just roast people. Oh, if you fart, it smells like Vaseline, bitch. That probably smells like Vaseline and Brawl BBC. Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> See, where do I come up with this shit? You're giving it to me, you fucking ignorant motherfucker. Ugh. Ugh. Our smart smell like fucking Vaseline with aloe vera and shit in them. That would be awful. Oh, my God, I know so many girls, you know why that is true. Tell you, tell you, whatever your name is, you know, a man's semen contains a hundred more toxins and sleep aids than any sleep aid in the world. It's called Durkey's Jerky and the Baloney Pony, first of all. That's a fact, by the way. Look that shit up. That's why you fall asleep better. 
the girl and usually the female and the male is. We use it to Leah, to Leah, okay, okay, and to Leah, to Leah James, to Leah James it is. What the hell, motherfucker? There you go. You seen a little dog with it. That's just like too much personal information now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what every female says, ain't it? I think that's getting a little bit overrated. And when I had to hear from these younger kids what fucking raw dogging means, that sounds like you done gave her something. No, that just means I'm calling them no shit. You're definitely... What the fuck? Okay. Let me talk to y'all about the bird and the bees. See, I want to get a tattoo on it when it says okay. When it gets hard, it's going to say fucking Oklahoma. If you can handle it, it might be my fucking Bergonia. <laughs> my Sonia. Who knows? Only four inches from the ground around. No, I'm looking for something here and I can't find this pissing me off. I know my mom didn't do what I think she did. I think she did. Hell yeah. Let's fix it up. Slurp, barf. Oh, goodness. I bet you just barfed up like 15 kinds of DNA, didn't you? That bitch got DNA in her asshole. She got DNA in her eyeballs and her ears. D -A DNA all in her mouth. Shit, where is it? Fuck, don't ask me. It's all over the place. You know what I'm saying? My Mustang in a quarter mile would smoke any motherfucking Chevy about made. Why? That's a re that's kind of rhetorical right there. The only thing that beat my Mustang in a quarter mile of them piece of shit cars like that is a goddamn fucking banshee, and it sits right beside my house. That's a fact. You better have a Habusa or something like that to beat them cars. I can push start my fucking car manually if I want to with one hand. <clears throat> Excuse me for burping. My asshole ain't working. Bitch, I know what my car's got in it. 302 with hover fucking headers. Going into a fucking Dino Maxwell glass patch. I just bought this special sticker for the front that says Bad Company, and the back one says I'll rock your ass. And the other one says the hoofbeat is louder than the heartbeat. Always. Fuck a Chevy car. I ain't got shit on the Mustang. Coyote fucking super snake is the fastest motherfucker in the world. It's faster than a NASCAR, man. Mine's an 88. That's right, 88 to 90. That's my favorite model, too. Mine's the 88. First year of the 508 shows and shit. Yeah, mine's only got 50 fucking 2,789 original models. Not even 53,000. No rust, no fucking nothing. You know, well, I can make that car Janice, her shifters, some prac gauges, the fucking map light still works perfect in it. You know why I ain't started my car? I give my fucking stepdad my battery, bitch. You got a problem with that? Fuck you. It's in his truck. That's going to my son. I just told you I got done washing the fucking truck and shit. Stay with the program. I'm not, why would I stop calling you a bitch? That's what you're being. Or should I call you a cunt? That's more like it. I have nothing to prove to nobody in this world. I got a 351 out there I can throw in that Mustang and make it fucking a Cobra. Yeah, out of an F-250, three-quarter ton. 
It's got a brand new fucking everything in it. Got it from my brother, you know what I mean? That fucking truck is it. But I, will, I don't want to do with that. It's a square body 95. Ain't nothing like them fucking fox bodies and square body fours like that back in the day. When you got a Dana 60 rear end and eight fucking lug rims and tires. I think Cunt fits better too, bro. You know why? They all hate it. Unless it's a Pokemon Cunt. I don't give a fuck. Call me anything. You don't want to say my name anyway, bitch. Call me anything but late for supper. See, y'all, you can't offend me or nothing. You know, that's why you can't fucking, you can't get through my skin, man. I'm used to this joking shit. I've done it my whole life. I can't be with no chick unless I'm like down with her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. He's right. He's the only one fucking told me that just now. He's right. Thank you, buddy. Honestly, thank you. He told me if I, I told anybody if they see me fucking smoking to put it out and hit that vape thing. That's for real. Good looking out, bro. For real, bro. I'll be hitting my carpet show soon, you know. Meth head. Bitch, you got me all confused, don't you? When I was on drugs, I was on heroin, motherfucker, dog food, Purina, puppy, child. Shot at my goddamn veins. Scars all over my fucking body. You think I'm scared to show, bitch? I'm not Donald. I'm not that... <laughs> It's doing it right now behind your back. I can show you 17 videos of where he's fighting his old lady over fucking drugs and shit. I do exactly what I go to the fucking doctor to get. And you see this right here? Sabrina. Do, you know, do we not go to the dispensary together and get this shit? Even straight from... This is from the fucking dispensary. This is a fucking... Has a label, a date, my name, my time on it. I walked up in the courthouse with the bitch, motherfucker. Uh, legal. Welcome to West Virginia, motherfucker. Too bad you don't live here, huh? See this? What is this? Sabrina, is that legal to me, honey? I don't want to show it much in that camera. Is that legal to me? Legal. Legal as I can fucking keep as many as I want. That's my first amendment is the right to bear that fucking arm. But I got 357 right here and a fucking 30 off 6 right here. I don't need that for no Josh and no little nigga, trust me. Now they want to bring some war here. We got war. Bitch, you terrible. Yeah. I'd love to see that motherfucker pop just straight to them railroad tracks right now. Because right here, Jamie, what we talk about 100 yards? That's not even probably, I want to say, 45 yards away. What we say we can do with these at 100 yards? This bitch don't know who she's talking to, does she? Let him pull back over again. Why I'm awake. Not goddamn 4.30 in the morning. Mm -mm. Fucking dogs are barking and shit, and I see them fucking pulling out like a bunch of cowards every fucking time. Every fucking time. They won't sit over and talk no shit, will they? <laughs> no. I got rifles in here, AKs in here. These motherfuckers don't want nothing, man. No. We're an open carry state, which means I can possess legally smoking marijuana and a weapon because I don't have to have a concealed weapons permit to carry that weapon I just don't have to be a fel fucking felony so 
See how smart you are? You remind me of one dumbass motherfucker I know that creates their own concept of reality and laws. That would be the flag. <laughs> Donald Duck over there. Dude, the laws are laws. You mad because West Virginia owns them and you let them? No, I'm not no felony. I've never been convicted of zero charges, bitch. I just read them off earlier. Did you miss that? Never convicted. Getting ready to sue the state of West Virginia for false arrestment. The whole fucking cops are in investigation right now. For you know what they did? 36 fucking women they filmed at the goddamn police academy. And you know what half of them women was? Little girls. Shit you would get into, right? Yeah. That kind of shit. That's right up your fucking alley. You know, but y'all, I post that on every fa my other prior Facebooks that they fucking hacked in and took off. Watch me post it on here and they'll fucking hack me and take me off, dude. I have exposed them and exposed them for fucking putting them cameras on them fucking young girls, watching them shower and shit, them nasty ass cops. Dude, you're already going to be a fucking cop. You, you, you got to be that sick. You got to be that fucking sick and people don't want to deal with you on a day-to-day -day basis. Let alone see you pull them over in a fucking police car. My son asked me, he did. He said, Dad, would you go to the police academy with him? Because I can, bitch. No felonies, nothing. And be a trooper. Okay. No. I'd be AI. That's it. You know what that stands for? Illiterness. That's internal affairs. You know what they do? They take dirty motherfucking cops that you like. The ones you pay the taxes to. And they put them in fucking jail. In federal prison. Where your people belong. Where your people's about to head. And you could be one of them very much well. The much I've let you talk here. When you watch my live feed. You think I'm the only one watching it? You better guess again, bitch. They're under investigation. Idiot. Well. How you think I know what to say, what to do, not what to bring here? My wife, I said, no, I highly doubt that bitch. I have the best Wi-Fi compatible, and I have the baddest phone compatible. It seems like you have a shit droid. Shit droid. I, A, A, I don't give a fuck what it is. I just know that's the only one I've ever worked for, my friend. Internal affairs. I'd make their affairs very fucking internal. Oh, I know it's I, A. I just said A, I, and you're, because I, just what I said. Paranoid? What the fuck am I paranoid of? That's how paranoid I am. It looked like to me earlier when I heard screaming on them videos and shit. That looks like a... You know what they always say? The loudest one in the room is the fucking weakest and the dumbest. My cousin's awful loud. He screams at the videos on him. The goddamn mother! Step on a nerve. Cat get your tongue. They're a felony. Are you registered? Can you even register to vote Donald Trump in... Please tell me you can't. Nope. Motherfucker. If you can't own a gun, you can't do that. <laughs> do you even vote midterms, anything? You know nothing about none of that. You people are fucking... Live no kind of life, man. You're fucking miserable with your own selves. And you just love mine so much you want to be me. I can see that very much. Hell, I'd want to be me, too. I'm one badass motherfucker. Watch out. Life ain't life without me. You guys are about to miss me, wouldn't you?
<laughs> I bet y'all was like, how the fuck did he just do that? Welcome to the new iPhone 15 Plus, baby. The Pro Max don't do that, Jamie. See what I just did? I can show you a few things that don't do. That's what I was telling you, man. I did my research. Check these flags out, by the way, there, girl. You know what them flags represent right there? That one right there, especially. That means fuck you. Okay? This one right here. That means fuck you 2,024 times. That's right. You can't vote and be a felon. I vote every year. Every midterms, commissions, everything. See what I'm saying? You fucking right. I'm a genius. Where are you? A goddamn queebness. Your pussy probably goes... <laughs> Somebody, oh my god, the smell. I can only imagine. This cart cut bitch thinks she's something, son. You never be on this motherfucker level. You know about that shit, doing that shit right there, you know? I was getting ready to say, do you notice how this bitch fucked up you and the O up in genius? And put a, a fucking O just completely in genius? We was, what does that mean? Genius is spelled G-E-N with no O, I guess. Come in here because I'm about to play some electric guitar and shit here in a minute. Oh shit, I know I'm gonna play, girl. You know that, you know what That's like tickling your pussy or something. <laughs> Dude, here, here's the first one. Don't know how to play. Ass pussy. And it stinks real fucking bad, y'all. <laughs> All 
Mark Tremonte playing that guitar, by the way. Scott Stapp's just a big, loud fucking singer that fucked the band out of it. In my opinion. I'm looking for my pick. My fucking Ernie Ball or my Jimmy Hendrix. There we go. Nah, oh, I got some more, bro. Trust me. I smoke these people on guitar. I just don't ever show it, dude. Mm -hmm. Go. 
got two little babies in my song I usually play the whole thing I can't do that remember that's what people say okay. I stay in charge of voodoo child right there bro I've never my study of Hendrix was more you know what I mean? Shit more. Just shit. You probably never heard. Spanish magic, Capital more. News plays anything Hendrix. I play anything full. I play any, you know, see what I'm saying? That's called resonating. That's a tailor for you, my friend. You know what I'm saying? My strings are a month old. Some freaky shit scream real loud just now. I bet y'all didn't hear it on the mic though. Nirvana, you know, what I mean, his my favorite song by him was that uh, Something's in the Way song. There's something in the way. how you remind me. Never met as a wise man. Couldn't cut it as a poor man's head. Tied a wound like a blind man. Sick and sour as seeds of a blind man. This is how you remind me. They did that shit all and dropped in dogs. song I can play probably in drop me. That's 
Si se vive. Song goes, but there's something of the monster living under my bed is whispering in my ear. There we go. Walking down, I, I did this myself the other day. Walking down. Yeah, me and Luce was playing the other day, man. You know what I mean? We was going to shit up here the other day. And we thought about throwing some lead on top of a couple new ones I had come up with. And we started on this.
standard tune you can't go four not five b minor f major c that's how you keep it in but that uh, grandpa song does it Shit right there, though. Pete Hendricks the other day. Oh, did you see Pete? He's cute, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, same, same, same Donald charges. Go ahead and donate it. <laughs> you fucking retard. I don't charge nobody for nothing. What the fuck kind of question was that, bro? Did you see that shit? the stories I'll tell you for free. Ask me any question. It's like I just jubilee the story the other day, huh? Put it down for 20 some years. I've not put that thing down for years, man. I can play about every note on it. I just don't show that a lot, as you can tell people. I 
I got people sit here and listen to me play that guitar all night long, especially if they're here in the house, you know what I mean? They'll just sit there and be mesmerized by it, you know what I mean? They'll be like, how do you come up with that concept? Of that? Well, I think a lot about Leonard Skinner. I think a lot about Pink Floyd, you know what I mean? And that's how I come up with a lot of my riffs that I put into my chords. Can you please give that to me? Because he's the last one I need above. Because that one right there gets my money back, everything. I will send you a fucking thousand dollars, dude, if you give me that motherfucker's address. I promise you that. Just inbox it to me or text it to me. Because that's getting my fucking 13 grand back. I'll give you a whole thousand, dude. Get honest. I can't stand a thief, and all I needed was that right there. I don't need his name. That will locate who he is. Right there. Yeah, I was going to get through his IP, but I was just going to have the court get it either way. You see what I'm saying? Because my court, once they order Monday to speak their names, they have to speak their names, and he's the one that took the intellectual property with a fucking key thing on top. I can't sign into my old Gmail. Shane and give him my fucking shit and he put a key into it, a phrase key. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They use that through GitHub. You see what I'm saying? And the, everyone's well aware of that. You know what I mean? And Donald don't understand that they're using him. You know they have a whole website dedicated to him. Not Donald Burst. It is Donald Burst, but it's on another platform. And he don't realize that. That's why I can't... That dog stood up like that, and I'd come out there and grab that fucking Glock. Whew, stood up almost like a fucking human. Yep, <laughs> yeah, everybody says, well, you always clean the damn man. I'm just nervous like a little boy. I said, just like a little boy playing with his dick when he gets nervous. Did you hear me that time? Or no? Well, if, Jamie, if you're still here, you'll tell her. That's what a soldier says when he slings his fucking weapon. Nah, I'm just like a little boy playing with his dick when he, when he gets nervous. Ain't you ever seen a little boy in the middle of a baseball field? Getting right back like this right here, and he's fucking grabbing the fuck out of his <laughs> Pinching that head off at some bitch or something, you know what I mean? That's why. Nervous. He knows that ball's coming at him, more likely. Sorry I don't scream at people. I don't get on here and get meth out of my mind or heroin out of my mind where I go, I'm coming up out of here. Screaming, or I don't scream at people. Everyone has heard every word I had to say. Now, I'm about to be off here. If anybody needs me, hit me up on the inbox. Peace, pot, micro dot. God love the stone or not, so on the winds, stone or die. But in the end, we'll all get fucking high.